Hey everybody, Max Parker here, and there are a bunch of really good games coming out in the next month, plus a new console. It almost feels like it's the holiday season all over again as we're in the beginning of 2017. There's just a lot of good games coming out, so I wanted to run through and see what, and let you know what are some of those really good games to look out for at towards the end of February and the beginning of March. Plus, the new Nintendo Switch is coming out at the beginning of March, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But first up, we have Ghost Recon Wildlands from Ubisoft. Now, this has been talked about for the last couple E3s. This El is Pozzanero. the Ghost Recon Pozzanero. name has been around for a while. Uh, it's one. It's a military shooter, but Sometimes there's never really been a Ghost Recon quite like this. This is an open world cases, cooperative experience, so you can play with up to four players in this open year, world and carry out missions with your material. friends. There hasn't the really been a Ghost Recon or even really a game quite like this so style. It's so kind of like Metal Gear Solid, but you can play it with your friends. Left, so that smudge. looks really a fun. Steel. And uh, I played a little bit of that it, back at E3 and a little bit of the El beta. Pizzanero. And it just looks like a lot of fun now. It is an open world game and the beta saw a few bugs that come with open world games. But this game looks a lot of fun, especially if you have a squad of, th of three friends, you and three friends, to jump into this open world and play these military missions. It looks a lot of fun. One player could be driving a, a Humvee, one player can be up in a helicopter. It just looks like the world is your oyster and your team can pretty much carry out any mission any way you'd like to. Up next, another Ubisoft game is For Honor. Now this is, it's good to see new IPs and For Honor has been talked about for many years now. It's almost like uh, Dynasty Warriors with more substance. This game uh, was showed off at E3 a couple years ago and fans have been really looking forward to this. I played it uh, in a preview event and plus the beta and this game looks like it's going to deliver. Uh, it, has, it does have a single player campaign but its emphasis is on competitive multiplayer. So there are three factions you can join. It's either the Vikings, the Knights, or the Samurai. Each character within those factions have their own stats and abilities. Some are big brute tank type characters and others are quick and agile assassin type characters. And uh, it, there's, it's a really unique battle system. The battle system is what makes this game really unlike any other game that we've ever seen. So there's, it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors battle system, but there are also, there's a huge battlefield that you can join into that have a bunch of AI soldiers, much like Dynasty Warriors. And it looks like this game's going to deliver. For Honor comes out tomorrow for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a fresh, new, competitive multiplayer type experience. Next up on the list we have Mass Effect Andromeda and the Mass Effect series has been around for a long time. It's re really a legendary series that originally came out for the Xbox 360 and then was ported to many other platforms. But this is the first Mass Effect game that doesn't have the protagonist Commander Shepard that we have known through the Mass Effect series. This is an all new protagonist but one that you will be able to create from scratch uh, and be able to make choices based on the, the gameplay. So it's still that Mass Effect gameplay we don't really we've seen a couple trailers of the gameplay that have that action and then also the decision making processes that go into a Mass Effect game and an expansive open world we also see a Mako type ship that was actually only in Mass Effect 1 so you'll be able to get onto planets and use that tank to explore the Huge, the huge planets that are in the Mass Effect universe. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what Bioware cooks up with Mass Effect Andromeda. That comes out March 21st for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And next up we have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now Zelda, this Zelda game has been on display the last three E3s. So this has been in the, in the making for a really long time, and it's a, actually a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. But it's also going to come out for the Wii U on the same day, just in case you can't get a Nintendo Switch on launch day, because pre-orders are already sold out. So, and we're not really sure how the, how supply is going to be, but given that it's a Nintendo product, it might be hard to get your hands on at launch. But Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild looks fantastic. We've seen a couple trailers now leading up to the Nintendo Switch launch, and it just looks gorgeous. And Zelda experiences on home consoles almost always deliver. These are always top tier games, and it's almost always uh, 
recognized at the end of the year for Game of the Year awards. So Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild looks like a fantastic open world Zelda experience and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And last up we have, of course, the Nintendo Switch. It's a brand new Nintendo console, which always grabs headlines. And this also comes out March 3rd, just like Breath of the Wild. Like I said, that is a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo seems to be going for a kind of a home console, kind of mobile console hybrid type thing. This is that you'll have a home dock that you can plug the console into to play on your TV, and then you can just take it with you and it looks kind of like a tablet with controllers on the side and you can take it anywhere. The only concern I have is battery life, which they say will be around two hours to six hours, depending on what you're using it for but the Nintendo Switch looks like a really fresh idea and it comes out in just a couple weeks and I'm really excited and I can't wait to try it out. So be sure to stay tuned. I'm definitely going to have a full review of the Nintendo Switch once I'm able to get my hands on it and I can't wait. So there you have it. That's some of the games coming out in the next couple weeks. It really does feel like holiday season coming back here with all of these great AAA games that are coming plus a new console. So it's a lot to be excited about. For all those reviews and more, be sure, be sure to follow me on Twitter at GameGuyPGH and keep it tuned to thepostgazette.com. Thanks a lot for watching.